Hey there, it's Rad. Today I'm going to be drawing some animals uh, based on reference material that I have here, like this visual dictionary that I got many years ago from Barnes & Noble. And this artist reference photo book. I also have one on uh, birds, and this one's on wildlife. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some uh, contour drawings using this same sketchbook as I had before. Contour drawings, contour means outline or, or just line drawing, basically. It's what you've been doing since you were young. <clears throat> now you have a name for it. Just line drawings. I think I'm going to start with this one, although watch this. I have copies here that I've, I have made from this book, page 283, of turtles. I think I'm going to draw this turtle here, which I've got larger, so you can see it. And I'm going to turn my paper horizontal to match the orientation of this animal. I'm not going to use a pencil. I think I'm going to use a pen. And I'm going to go with this one. So Now, if I were to draw this, you have to notice that the head obviously is on this side. The body is here. So I'm going to have to give some space for those two things. So I'm thinking ahead about where I'm going to put this. And I'm going to draw pretty big. Now, if you look at this, the main shape of this is sort of like this hill shape, <clears throat> sort of like an inverted U. I'm going to draw that first, and then I'm going to draw the head shape. There you go. Notice where on the page it is, okay? Things to notice. It's more on the left-hand side. And above, if I were to divide this in half, this would be on the top part, and this would be more on the left-hand side. All right? So the next thing to do is to draw this part here, which is the bottom part of the shell. Then I'm going to draw the head. It's going to end here. I'm going to give myself a little guide there. See? It ends there. And I'm going to start here. Then it comes out, kind of a squarish head. See that? And there you go. And if it's not perfect, don't worry. This is nature. It's perfectly imperfect. Look at this. It's got a little tail here. Then I'm going to draw this curve. And then the one over here. Look at how these lines overlap right there. See? Now, this is where I'm going to draw Look at those nails. The part that would take me a long time for this is doing all of this texture. There's a lot of it. And uh, patterns as well. Let me put in the eye. Now, if you think of it, this isn't many lines. This Wow, look at this cute mouth. I didn't make it up, there it is. How many lines is this? Well, let's think about it. This is one, two, three, that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's it. You know, my initials, um, if you think about it, think of it combining, uh, you think of the connection between writing and drawing. My initials are a, D, by the way, straight lines and then curves. That's what most lines are made up of. Just to demystify that for you. See that? Straight, curve, straight, 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 straight. How many is that so far? Six, seven, eight. That one took 12. Not that many more. All right. At this point, you would put in all the textures, all the different other shapes that you see in here. And this would take more time than anything else. The, the drawing of the actual animal, the turtle, the Eastern box turtle, not so much. Notice I didn't do it exactly, right? Perfectly imperfect. Oh, wow, look at this. You watching? Now look at this. Comes down here, another shape there. 
Ah, made a mistake there. And we're gonna keep it. So I'm gonna put in this. Here, there. Doesn't have to be everywhere. I'm gonna put in the wrinkles here. And I'm gonna put in all the shapes here. And like I said, take your time with, in this case, the shapes. Now, I made a mistake there, but when you put in all the designs in there, it's not gonna stand out as much. Right, it's not something that's gonna stand out when you have all the, all the textures in there. Uh, take your time with that. So I'll let you do that. And the next one I'm gonna do, I think is this bunny actually. I'm gonna do the bunny, let's see. Hmm, should I do this one? Or that one there? I don't know, maybe that one. All right, here we go. What should I start with first? I'm feeling like I wanna start with this head. And I kinda of wanna put it here on the page, right? And then I'm gonna to wanna to put this body in here with this roundish shape. See, breaking things down to the most simplest of shapes. All right, small ears it's got. And here I go, so the head is like this. That's what I see here. And then the eye, I'm gonna add a highlight by the way. One here and one there. Notice they're touching the sides. It's hard to see this because this is small. This is a photograph, unlike the last one of the turtle I had was bigger. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then these ears. Look at this shape. And then the next one. All right, so now I'm gonna draw this body. And I'm gonna leave some space there for other shapes. Where's this coming from? About there. Notice my lines now. Some broken lines to give the sense of texture that's coming up. All right, so that's a simple shape. It's just like a cylinder almost. And another one here. This one's smaller and tucked behind this line to give it the illusion that it's on the other side. Now I see there's a line here to indicate that this is the big hind leg. That's what helps this creature jump so well. And I think this is a tail tucked in over here somehow. All right, I'm gonna put in some of these hairs now. These are the texture lines. Notice the direction I'm putting them in because that's what I'm seeing here, right? other details in here. Now these lines are going this direction. Okay. As artists, you're communicators. You're communicating that this is an animal, this is what its hairs look like, this is the, the proportions of one thing in, in, in comparison to the, uh, the next, right? Smaller legs in the front, larger ones in the back, and it's got short hairs a little bit longer in the back, it looks like. And let's imagine I finished that. I'm gonna add some grass this time. And there you have it. How many lines was that? Well, the main lines, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Not that many more. And then of course, all those texture lines. All right, the next one. Next drawing is going to be, I think, a pilated. What is that called? Hummingbird, pilated hummingbird. Nope. There it was. Here we go. All right. Uh, pilated, I read that that means it has this thing on the top of its head. All right, so I'm gonna 
totally with my fingers figure out where this is gonna go on my page. You see this diagonal here? Sort of like an L shape almost. I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna put in its body here, leaving negative spaces here. All right, here I go. What do I feel more, com more comfortable with drawing? Strangely enough, the beak and the neck. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this shape. It looks like it's got a mohawk. I'm right left a little highlight. Now those creature features, those um, distinguishing characteristics of this animal, uh, besides the fact that it's got this mohawk-like shape, this pilated situation, um, I'm gonna say is also these stripes. So look at my texture lines already, right? To give it the impression that would be red. I'm doing this in black and white, so I don't have a red. I'm gonna leave it outlined. So I'm gonna give the impression that this has got texture and that it's got a stripe. All right, now I'm gonna draw the body, which is sort of like a um, pointed oval, sort of like a teardrop. Oh, not exactly. It's got these little things in the bottom. Um, the feathers are black and it's hard for me to tell exactly what's going on but I'll try to put in what I can. So then there's the body over here. That was more of the feather. And there's a lot going on here, which I can't tell exactly what that is, but I'm trying to put in as much as I can. if I don't put this um, piece of wood in here, it's gonna look odd. I'm gonna actually take information from this one and put it over here. This one I'm gonna have cropped. So I just combined two drawings, two photographs into one drawing, excuse me. And there you have it. Next thing you do, sign it and you're good to go. All right, it's time for you to do some contour drawings. Find some photographs of animals online and uh, get cracking. <laughs>